starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. How many more, Gramps? Oh, eight, ten, I guess. Gosh, I sure hope my hands hold out. <laughs> well, you've done a man-sized job. You want to quit? No, let's finish. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Carey from Capital City. Damn it. Old pinchy nose. How are you, Mr. Miller? Howdy, Emmett. Been a long time since we've seen each other. Yes, yes. I uh, don't get down this way very often. Oh, uh, this is my son, Edgar. I believe you two boys know each other. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, could I have a few minutes of your time, Mr. Miller? All right, if I lay off a few minutes, partner? Sure. Edgar, you stay here. Keep Jeff company. What for? Because I said so. You know, Mr. Miller, nobody ever got rich working the land. The, the big money's in buying and selling it. Now, here's my proposition. I've got a client, a millionaire, who breeds beef cattle as a hobby. Black Angus. Now, he's looking for some good pasture land right in this part of the country, and he'll pay top dollar, Mr. Miller, top dollar. Hold on. You ask me to sell my farm? Cash in the bank. I got posts to cut and wire to string. Uh, the, now, believe me, Mr. Miller, uh, this is the opportunity of a lifetime uh, for both of us. No, oh, I just think you don't quite understand. You're the one that don't understand, Emmett. What's his name? Domino. That's a dopey name. What kind of a horse is he? He's not a horse yet. He's a yearling. Can you ride him? Nope. Why not? Because he's not big enough. Baloney. I've ridden ponies smarter than him. Well, that's different. Domino's not saddle broke yet. What are you, a chicken? I'll put a saddle on him and ride him. Oh, no, you won't, says who. Look, if you go in there, you're gonna get your head kicked off. He's skittish. Oh, yeah? Come here, Domino. <laughs> Now, what's this all about? He started it. Is that true, Jeff? He was gonna hit Domino with a stick. That's a dirty lie. Oh, you now, were... wait a minute. Never mind. Just look at you. Edgar, tuck your shirt back in. Jeff, you go into the house and change. But, Mom... Please, Jeff. No, Lassie. You stay here. Domino, nothing's gonna hurt you. Well, stand still, you dope. This time I'm really gonna show you how he's boss. <laughs> Easy, girl, easy. Guy, my leg! Your leg? What happened to your leg, son? The dog. The dog bit you. That's what happened to your leg, isn't it? Oh, hogwash. Now, oh, don't you be afraid, son. You just tell me the truth. Yeah, Dad. That's what happened. Lassie bit me. That dog is a dangerous animal. She's vicious. Lassie vicious? Why, she ain't got a mean bone in her body. I'll tell you one thing. She'll never bite anyone again. Come on, son. You mark my words, Miller. I'll have that animal destroyed if it's the last thing I ever do. I don't believe it. Well, if you don't believe it, here it is. 
What do you make of it? It might be serious. What do you mean, serious? In plain language, Jeff, it means that if Lassie is found guilty, the court will order her destroyed. Mom! What is it? What's the matter? They're going to kill Lassie! Oh, of all the nonsensical things. Now, who said that? There's no sense in hiding things, Ellen. The dog bit the boy. She did not. Lassie never bit anybody. Oh, then stop this. Stop it, both of you. If this case has to be tried, we'll do it in court, not here. Now, stop crying, Jeff. I'm sorry, Clay. I have to take Lassie into custody. Into what? Why? Orders, Ellen. I'm supposed to take her with me now and deliver her to court tomorrow morning. You can't have her! It won't be necessary, Clay. Lassie will be in court in the morning. I give you my word. Well, that's good enough for me, Ellen. Caleb, you call yourself a lawyer. Stop puckering like a prune and say something, will you? Now, Jeff, this is the place where you and the Carey boy had that fight, right? Yes, sir. Are you sure the boy didn't hurt his leg while he was fighting with you? I don't think so. From then on, Lassie was alone with the boy? Yes, sir, as far as I know. Now, about that stick. There it is, over there. Lassie, go get the stick for Mr. Brown. Thank you, Lassie. Thank you. Uh-huh. Did uh, he actually hit the coat with a stick? He tried, but I stopped him. Has Lassie ever bitten anyone before? No. Absolutely not. Good. Then I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I don't follow you. Well, the courts have held that a dog, in a manner of speaking, is allowed one bite. Now, unless they can prove that Lassie has attacked and bitten someone before this time, they've got no case. Are you sure of that? <laughs> well, George, the law isn't like milking a cow, you know. You can never be sure. You... you mean they still might kill Lassie? Well, anything can happen in court, Jeff. But I'll do my best. Come on, George. Hear ye, hear ye, all persons having business in this court, draw near. Give your attention and ye shall be heard. His Honor, Henry Wheatley, Judge of the County Court at Preston, presiding. Be seated. Case of the people against George Miller, Helen Miller, Jeff Miller, a minor owners and custodians of the doll glassy. If the prosecution and defense are ready, we will proceed. Your Honor, if the court pleases, I move for dismissal of this case on the grounds of non scienter. The law clearly states that a domesticated animal cannot be held for willful attack unless prior attack and viciousness can be proved. Your Honor, it's the prosecution's intention to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that this dog has attacked before. And that the owners knew it. That's a consigned line. Order! Order! I don't give a hoot. Lassie never. George, sit down and be quiet. Also, help me. I'll hold you in contempt of court. I will reserve my decision on the motion for dismissal. You may proceed. If it please the court, just one more point before we proceed, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. In view of the fact that this dog is a dangerous animal... Objection! No evidence has been so offered. Sustain. Please confine your remarks to the issues. Your Honor, I intend to fully prove my statement. But until such time, I make it the responsibility of this court for the safety and well-being of all those present to have this animal leashed or tied during these proceedings. Very well, if you put it that way, the court has no choice but to comply. Bailiff, get some string and tie the dog. Wait, I'll do it.
sorry, girl. Now may we proceed? I call my first witness, Jeff Miller. Jeff Miller, take the stand. Put your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir, I do. Be seated. Just a few simple questions, Jeff. Where did you get this dog? Well, everybody knows where I got Lassie. Would Your Honor please instruct the witness to answer the question? Answer the question, Jeff. Yes, sir. Mr. Carey's uncle. He gave me Lassie in the will. Exactly. So obviously you remember the circumstances well. Sure. I'll never forget the time I got Lassie. Then you no doubt remember a certain hired hand who was working for Mr. Carey's uncle at the time. Mm-hmm. Matt Willis. Good. Now, I ask you, Jeff, isn't it true that you were an eyewitness to this dog's brutal attack upon that same hired man, Matt Willis? But Matt stole Mr. Carey's money. Lassie was just trying to... Answer the question. Did you or did you not witness the attack of your dog, Lassie, upon Matt Willis? Well, I... Yes or no? Let the boy talk. Order! Order! Any further demonstrations? I'll have the court cleared. You may continue. Now, did you or did you not witness such an attack? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you, Jeff. That's all. All right, Jeff. Step down. But I don't want to step down. He made me say things that aren't true. Lassie's not a bad dog. She wouldn't hurt anyone. Jeff, you love Lassie, don't you? Sure I do. You'd do almost anything to save her, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. You'd say almost anything to save her, wouldn't you? I don't know what you mean. I mean, maybe even lie, just a little bit. You don't have to answer that. We understand. Step down. Henry Wheatley, you can hold me in contempt if you want, but I'm going to have my say. I never in all my born days saw a boy worth his salt that didn't love his dog. But that don't mean that my grandson Jeff would lie. He wouldn't lie for nothing. That pusillanimous polecat Emmett Carey is taking it out on Jeff and Lassie because I wouldn't sell him my farm. Simmer down! Simmer down, I tell you! That's perfectly all right, Your Honor. As long as the old gentleman insists on making himself heard, by all means, let's have him do so. If the court pleases, my next witness, George Miller. George Miller, take the stand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. All right, fire away. Now, Mr. Miller, we come to the events of yesterday. Now, refresh your recollection. You and Mr. Carey were on your way to the barn. Isn't it true that at that time you heard a terrible scream of pain and fear? Well, uh, let me put it this way. It's a simple question, Mr. Miller. Just answer yes or no. Well, now, now... Yes or no? No! No? Would Your Honor please request the stenographer to read the last question and answer? Read the question. Is it not true that at that time you heard a terrible scream of pain and fear? Answer, no. Mr. Miller, I remind you, you're under oath. Of course I'm under oath. I know that. But you and your dang devil talk makes me all up. Sure, I heard the boy yell. What of it? Thank you. And upon rushing into the barn, you saw the boy Edgar Carey lying on the floor with his leg gashed and bleeding. Is that not also true? Well, I don't know. I... Yes or no? Answer the question, George. Yes. And at the time, the dog Lassie, with bared teeth, was barking and growling over Edgar Carey. Isn't that true? Well, Lassie... Isn't just... that true? Yes. As a matter of fact, you had to hold the dog back. Is that not also true? Well, I didn't have to hold her. But you actually did hold her, didn't you? Yes! Thank you. You've been most helpful. Your witness, Mr. Brown. No questions. 
That's all, George. But uh, I haven't had a chance to say anything yet. Step down. I uh, know, not Henry. I, I mean, Your Step Honor. Step down, George. Proceed, Mr. Prosecutor. Your Honor, I call my last witness, Edgar Carey. Edgar Carey, take the stand. Put your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Be seated. Son, I'm going to ask you just one question. And I want you, like the others, to answer yes or no. I refer specifically to yesterday morning at the Miller Barn. At that time and place, did this dog, Lassie, attack and bite you? Yes. We're in trouble, George. They've proven a prior attack with Jeff's testimony, and we've got nothing to refute this boy's statement. Does the defense wish to cross-examine? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, judging by the way you limped up to the witness chair, Edgar, that leg of yours must be paining you some. Yeah, it's pretty sore. Mm-hmm. Seems to have gotten considerably worse since you got into court. Objection! Sustain. Confine yourself to the issues, Mr. Brown. The most important issue in this case is that alleged bite on your leg. Might we see the bite, Edgar? Just raise your trouser leg. Let's get a look at it. Do I have to? You say the dog bit you? Yes, sir. Then Mr. Brown has a right to see the bite. Edgar, would you remove the bandage? Your Honor, this boy is suffering intense pain from a savage dog bite, and I do not think he should be asked to remove the bandage. Edgar, you look like a smart boy to me. One not likely to make a mistake about a simple fact. I haven't made any mistakes. No one's saying you did, son. I just want to be sure. Now about this wound. Your Honor, I object. This is an unwarranted invasion of my client's privacy. Just a moment. Mr. Brown, do you have additional evidence in relation to this boy's wound? The most important evidence of this case, Your Honor. Objection overruled. Proceed. Are these the marks that were made by Lassie's teeth when she bit you? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> Lassie. Good girl. Uh, I want everyone to watch this carefully, particularly my honorable colleague, the uh, prosecuting attorney. The handle of this gavel now bears Lassie's teeth marks. So, allegedly, does uh, Edgar Carey's leg. A full inch difference. Like I said before, Edgar, you look like a smart boy. You can see the marks of Lassie's teeth on the handle of this gavel. 
You can also see that Lassie's teeth never could have made the marks on your leg because your teeth are not wide enough apart. Lassie never bit you, and you know it. We want the truth, boy. The truth. I fell into the barbed wire. I was scared. My father said Lassie bit me, so I said she did too. With your honor's permission, I... I withdraw the complaint. Very well, Mr. Carey, but I wish to see you and your son in my chambers immediately. Case dismissed. <laughs>